Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another Spotlight Ravens series interview. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us from the men's swimming and diving team as sophomore Cameron Stanley. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. All right, good. So, of course, um, of course, we do this in the midst of what what will be conference championship week. You guys have that coming up this weekend. First, um, before we get into that, tell a little bit on how the season has been going this year. Uh, yeah, the season's been going pretty good. Um, we've had not so many difficulties with COVID like we did last year. Everything has gone pretty smoothly. We did uh, about two weekends ago, we just did our senior night. So did a celebration for them. Uh, I think we're looking pretty strong, ready to go into conference. It will be a very exciting meet to do. All right. So now what are you... Um, what are you looking to accomplish at the conference meet? I am looking to try to place in the top 14 for the 500, the mile, and then for the relays, I'm not sure how we're going to place, but try to get into the top eight for that as well. All right. So, um, and then quick profile on that. So you're uh, in your, in last year's meet, you competed in, um, in the 1650 freestyle, got 11th place there with a time of 18, 13, 30. Um, what is, so kicking things off here, what is your major and minor? So my major is uh, mechanical engineering, and then I do not have a minor. All right. Um, who is your inspiration and why? My inspiration would be my father, uh, because, uh, just how dedicated he is and how, um, how strong and how um, devoted he is to family and Christ. All right. Um, what is your favorite aspect about sports and why? My favorite aspect about sports is really just the team sport. So like the, the bonding, the getting to know everybody, different backgrounds, what everybody can bring to the team. That's really my favorite part about it. Okay. What is your driving force slash motivation? So my driving force really is to just improve myself, to become better at in all aspects that I can to see what my limits are. Okay. What is your favorite non-athletic memory at AU? My favorite non-athletic memory would be um, working on the uh, boat race project for a while for in the engineering program that we did last year. All right. Um, actually, uh, if, if you want to feel, um, tell a little bit more about that. I heard, I've heard about it briefly, but go, um, go into more detail on what that was. Cause I know that was a pretty big deal in the department. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really fun. Uh, I worked on it for a while. I wasn't able to do the boat race in the very end, uh, mainly. So we were given a project. We were assigned, uh, different groups from all different, um, grade levels. So we were seniors got to work with freshmen. We got to learn about uh, different aspects of engineering that we hadn't got to, especially as a freshman, I got to talk with some seniors and stuff. I really got to be connected with some of the other engineering majors that I hadn't quite got to know yet. And then we worked on the project um, pretty heavily for a while. And then towards the end, as we got closer to the thing, I wasn't able to race with the boat because of school and other stuff got in the way and was swimming. But um, for building it for the most part was pretty fun. Okay. And then um, what is your favorite athletic memory to you? My favorite athletic memory would have to be uh, when we played water polo in the swimming pool last year. Okay. And water polo for me, that's something that's probably, that's probably a sport that, in terms of how much I've liked, I got to play like the lease where um, it's a super fun sport that I've only gotten to play a couple of times, but, but yeah, it's a ton of fun. Um, going into the next segment of questions. Um, first, who on the team is best dressed? Best dressed. I would have to give that to, I'd probably say Caitlin Hop. Okay. Um, who on the team is the best dancer? I'll give that to uh, Tess. I do not know her last name, but Tess. Moba. Moba, yeah. Um, who on the team? It, 
Who on the team is the Joker, prankster, best sense of humor? Matthew, uh, I think it's Howard. Hayward. Hayward, yeah, Hayward. Matthew Hayward. And then, um, let's see. Who on the team is most outgoing? I would say the most outgoing person on the team would be um, David, David Lang. Okay. And then um, if you, if this is kind of app, if this sort of pertains in swimming and diving and all, who on the team is the best trash talker? Ben Hall. Okay. Um, who on the team is the pregame DJ? Uh, I would say that would be uh, Matthew Hayward. Picks good songs. Okay. And then what is your team's go-to pregame song? I don't necessarily know if we have a go-to pregame song that we've listened to. Um, I know a lot of people were a big friend of country or hip-hop, really. They always do a different song. Okay, and then what is your go-to pregame song? My go-to pregame song would be Monster by Skillet. Okay, all right. Um, going into the next segment of questions, first, what is your favorite pregame meal? My favorite pregame meal, that would be uh, uh, spaghetti. Okay. Um, let's see. If you, if you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would they be? Uh, I would have dinner with uh, Michael Phelps. Uh, I do Elon Musk, and then I would do uh, just my grandfather. Okay. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is The Big Bang Theory. There you go. Um, what is your lucky number? 16. Okay. Um, any reason for that or just? Uh. I don't know. It was always just kind of like a number that for some reason has been kind of lucky for me. All right. Uh, who is your favorite professional athlete? Uh, that would be uh, Katie Ledecky. Okay. Um, do you have any pets? If so, what kind and what are their names? Yes, I have five pets. I have uh, a German Shepherd. A His name is Daisy. I have a Two Golden Retriever Black Lab Mixes, who names are Max and Toby. And then I have a Great Dane, uh, a Great Dane a Black Lab Mix, and her name is Sky. And then I have a dog, I have a cat named Everest. Okay. What is your favorite book? My favorite book would have to be uh, The Worst Years of Your Life uh, by James Patterson. Middle School, The Worst Years of Your Life. Okay. Um... What is the strangest nickname you have? Kamerunski. Okay. Um, if you could travel outside of the country, um, where would you go? I would go to Italy. It's very nice there. Okay. Have you ever traveled outside the country? Yes, once. We went to Italy for a little bit, and it was a very, very beautiful place to be. All right. And then what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, mint chocolate chip. Okay. Um, what are your favorite hobbies? My favorite hobby is, so I build Legos and like do like those really, really advanced Lego sets or um, just working on like video games and stuff. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite? What is the favorite? What is your favorite Lego build you've done? I built the uh, Millennium Falcon. Oh, uh, Okay. Okay, there you go. Out. And then um, why did you choose AU? I chose AU because of it was the small school environment. Uh, I could really get to know my professors. And if I had any problems, like I felt like they'd be really able to help me. And then also because of athletics, the program seemed really nice here. And it was just an all around great, kind of a great place to be. Okay. What is your favorite class at AU? My favorite class would have to be, I would say, I'd say uh, statics and dynamics. That was pretty okay. Cool. Yeah, I, um, I was I was a physics minor, and 
statics and dynamics were that was kind of the class that I enjoyed the most, at least in terms of that, because I could I could at least understand what was going on in terms of the all the quantitative stuff. But you get in, you get in some physics, other higher level physics classes that is like I could not do those. Um, who is your favorite professor at AU and why? Uh, I would have to say uh, McFerrin, Dr. McFerrin. Uh, the reason that he's my favorite is just because he's really funny. I love being in his classes. He always makes jokes, always is easy to understand the material. All around great guy. All right. Um, what, do you, um, what are your plans after AU? My plans after AU is to, I would like to coach for swimming on like on the side. And then as well as I'd like to find a job being an engineer, doing something maybe in automotive or uh, design related. Okay. And then finally, what do you want your lasting legacy to be at AU? Just kind of like uh, records or memory of like doing something pretty good all right well i think i've covered the questions i wanted to ravens fans thank you for turning it tuning in be sure to follow along with the spotlight raven series anymore or any more content we may be putting out on youtube um cameron thank you for joining us and good luck this weekend thank you thank you for having me